It is Friday, July 3rd, and we are about to kick off Anthony's 20th birthday weekend right after this. What is this for? It's one of about 50 decorations that's red, white, and blue around our house. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. <laughs> and I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it is July 3rd. Anthony's birthday. He is 20 years old, and then tomorrow is my mom's birthday, and she is 71. Wow. I'm so excited for the next two days because we're having a party. And we're having a pig. <laughs> so Anthony and I are going to head down to a place called Mary's Ranch down in Miami. We're going to get a pig. We're getting a baby pig this so year. So I'm not going with him this time. And I love this place. You can go down there. You can pick out the pig that you want. Again, we're getting a small one. We usually get about a 60 to 80 pound pig. We're getting like a 35 pound pig because we don't have a lot of people coming. I think it's like 10 people. And uh, we're going to roast a pig in our La Caja China. Is that how you say it? La Caja China? La Caja China. La Caja China. I don't speak very good Spanish. That's all right. <laughs> So we're going to vlog the next two days. I'm super excited about it. We do this every single year. This is like how Anthony wants to do his birthday. Lots of fireworks. Yeah, he does fireworks, has a few people over. Everybody gets to eat pig. It's definitely going to rain because it rains every single July 4th. <laughs> Let's get this day started. So was this what you were doing the entire time I was walking? This was what you were doing. I was out there sweating, getting my exercise in, and you're just relaxing on the couch. You know somebody is excited for his birthday when he's actually up at 20 after 9, and we didn't have to wake him up. Happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you? 20. 20. One year until I can drink. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Goals. Why are you up so early? Because we're going to get a pig. And I also want to go to Sky King because my firework was a dud last night and they're going to replace it for free. Oh, cool. And I'm also going to buy more fireworks because Nanny gave me 50 bucks so now I'm going to go buy more. <laughs> so this is exactly why we have mosquitoes in South Florida. Because when it rains, we get so much standing water that it just becomes a baby hospital for baby mosquitoes. Ready to get a pig? Yes. If you're a vegetarian, this vlog is definitely not for you. You gotta hear the, the pig go squeal. First beverage of the day is my little sweet and sour electrolyte mix concoction of a scoop of Redmond Relight. The lemon lime flavor is my absolute favorite. I use a splash of the Bragg apple cider vinegar with the mother. A couple of drops of the lemon Lancanto sweetener. Lots of cold water from a Berkey. Shake it all up and that is my drink. Oddly enough, my chickens are having a similar drink. So we're gonna use chicken electrolytes, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and some cold water from the Berkey as well. And that is their morning drink. The difference between mine and theirs is they are also getting some scrambled eggs this morning and I am not. You really want to upset Anthony? Turn off the air conditioning so that you can film a video. I'm trying to talk. It's hot. <laughs> what is it? Look at the freaking weather. 
<laughs> so uh, we just picked up the pig. We're going to head home. I need to marinate him. We bought this sour orange stuff. No, look at this. What is that? 90 degrees. <laughs> It's 1140. So instead of the mojo, which is loaded with like garlic and stuff like that, we bought this sour orange and it is zero carbs per serving. Of course, a serving is like a tablespoon, but we're not going to use a lot. We're going to just inject it with a little bit of this on. I'm going to do one half with this and then one half with like an apple cider vinegar and butter. We're going to inject a bunch of like liquid butter into it. So we're going to do it that way. But it was kind of cool. I'm holding a microphone so that, like, the air, because Anthony won't let me turn up the air. We didn't want to show anything because, yeah, I don't think anybody wants to see pigs slaughtered. But it was really cool. A lot of people were getting goats. I really like the fact that people were getting goats. I guess it's a big thing. Maybe because we have a lot of people, like, from Haiti and stuff down here. So I know that they all like to eat a lot of goats. So there were a lot of people ordering goats. And we also found out they have cows and it's really cheap it's two dollars a pound for the cow fifty dollars to slaughter it but i don't think they butcher it so we've got to find a butcher who would butcher the cow for us and they're not huge they're like 400 pound cows so anthony and i made it to sky king up in west palm beach and the line is fairly long i'm not surprised we're so close to july 4th that it just sort of happens, but we're here. All right, so props to Sky King. They totally not only replaced Anthony's firework that didn't go off, but they gave us another one. Yeah. Like a bonus one for, for our trouble of coming back. So it was awesome. We tried to buy some more fireworks there, but they are just about sold out of everything. everything. So we're gonna go to another fireworks place because South Florida is full of fireworks shops and uh, we're gonna check those out. Okay, so we're going to check out Phantom Fireworks now. Hopefully they still have some inventory left, but it is July 3rd, so we're not expecting too much. Can yes. I be a part of your wolf pack? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is for getting the party started for $749. I feel like it should be the complete party. Okay, so Phantom still had some stuff. I think mostly because they weren't doing a buy one, get one deal. It was like straight up selling it. Ended it a couple days ago. Yeah, conveniently. Yeah. So what did you get? I got seismic wave crackers. So these are booms. These are not lights. So these are, so you put it down and then pretty much it lets out a bunch of little explosions. Okay. These are just M150s. They're just, you throw it down and it makes a lot of pop. Then these are firecrackers. Aww. And you still had some left over from up to five years ago. Yeah. And they still work. Yeah. It is the morning of Anthony's party and we are getting started. Just putting up a few decorations that I got from the Dollar Tree. We don't really, you know, break the bank on party decorations, but we wanted it to look festive. Lots of red, white, and blue. It is 7 a.m. I'm about three miles into my walk of approximately five miles. I'm trying to get in 10,000 steps every single day in the month of July, and it takes me about five miles to accomplish that. So I'm deep into my walk, and no one else in my house is even awake yet, so I feel super accomplished already. I am walking back to Publix on my way back home because I want to see if they have the Sweet Baby Rays in stock for this weekend because we are super excited that Sweet Baby Rays has a sugar-free barbecue sauce, so I want to see if they have some in stock. So we're getting ready for Anthony's party. I'm going to start the pig in a little while. The party doesn't start till 6.30 but uh, the pig takes about three and a half hours and I have to bring it out and let it sit for an hour to come up the temperature. But this is the roasting box. This is the La Caja China. It just uses regular charcoal. And then over here on the side, it actually has a direction. So it's really cool. So it's, this is the bottle number two. You start off with a big bag of charcoal. Uh, the pig we have is 35 pounds. So it's just tiny little guy, but I'll show you inside here. So all of the charcoal actually goes on top of this that's why it doesn't matter that it's all rusted and then what's going to happen is is at one point you're going to be able to you're going to take this 
and you lift this up and then you're gonna shake it off and you're gonna move it over and that's what that is over there so we can get rid of all the ashes. There's like a spare tray there. So this here is actually the rack that he's gonna be mounted in and then this part here is a drip tray just to help with cleaning a little bit and then we're gonna lay him in there put the top on and then he roasts for three and a half hours. So I'm gonna take that rack, go clean it up, and then we're gonna put the pig inside of it. Okay, here we go. There he is. My cooler's broken, I had to order new hinges. So all of this inside of there is Redmond's seasoned salt. We injected half of them with uh, sour orange, but there's no moho, it doesn't have all the garlic and everything in it. And then the other side is with some butter, and apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna mount them in this rack now. Okay, now we're gonna leave him sit in here for an hour, we're gonna cover it up, and uh, that'll help him to, you know, come up to room temperature, even though it's outside temperature, and then we can start the roasting process. Rachel always does an incredible job at decorating and just making look everything awesome, and just going to the dollar store, getting some different little things, and making it look great. So it's 315, the internal temperature of the pig is about 68 degrees. Uh, that's pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and light this thing and get started. Sorry about the noise, the guy behind me is mowing his lawn. So we have the charcoal in two different piles. We're gonna go ahead and light this up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this get going and once everything is kind of lit, about 20 minutes, we're gonna spread it out, then we're gonna start the first hour countdown. Well, these piles are going really well, so what we're gonna do now is take this rake, and we're gonna spread all of this out. Okay, so now that we've got that all spread out, we're gonna come back in one hour and add another nine pounds of charcoal. So right now it's 345, so we'll be back in an hour. So it's been an hour, so we're gonna go ahead and add some more charcoal, but take a look at the sky. Can you hear that thunder? Every year it rains in South Florida on 4th of July. So anyway, let's go ahead and add some more charcoal. So you can see it's doing really, really well right now. And so since it's an hour, we're gonna add nine more pounds of charcoal. Okay, charcoal's added. We're just gonna go ahead and take the rake, just kinda spread it around just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna come back in another hour and add nine more pounds of charcoal. We have the timer here. Pig's currently at 147 degrees, which sounds like it would be ready to cook, but we're actually gonna go to 187 degrees and we're gonna start a timer for one more hour. So it's starting to thunder and lightning, but I wanna say one thing real quick. This thing is awesome. You get the best results when it comes to, you know, roasting a pig, especially when you consider the fact that you're gonna do this in three to four hours. But it's got a specific purpose. I mean, you can roast turkeys and briskets and things like that in here, but we've never tried that. I mean, we have talked about maybe doing a brisket just to see how it would come out. But for the most part, we use our smoker for that. So I would not run out and get one of these unless you're planning on roasting a pig like you know once or twice or even lamb or something like that that's really what it's designed for it's designed to give you really good results in a very quick amount of time and it's basically I mean it's a Chinese roasting box that's like the whole idea of this but I love it but I'm telling you don't run out and buy one unless you're really planning on doing a lot of roasting of whole animals because that's really what it's for doing the whole animal like I said a, a lamb a goat you know a pig something like that well, we had a downpour and now it's kind of drizzling. It's been another hour, so if you come over here on the side, we did this part. Now we're gonna do this part here, add nine more pounds for another hour. Poor Grayson decided to jump off of his cage and he flew into the door, but he's not gonna let us see it. Look at us. Say hello. There it is. Okay, it's been another hour, so we're gonna take this off and we're gonna flip the pig. Ooh, look at that pig. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at the coals. Oh, Jesus. I'm afraid to go look at the this pig. Now this flips super easy. It's just hot as fire. Okay, so what we do is we pick him up. Look at all that juice. Flip him like that. 
Now we take a knife and we're gonna make an X. What does that do? It gets the skin nice and crispy. Now about how much longer do you have for him to cook? 30 minutes. Now it rained and poured and it really didn't affect anything as far as temperature goes. It stayed the same, right? Yep. It really is a set it and forget it. Okay, now we put this back on. We're gonna get these coals, so you only pick the top up, and we're gonna give it a good shake. Just the top one. Hold on, hold on, it's hot. No, hot, really. hot. Okay, ready? Go in, go in. Nine more pounds of charcoal. So the cost is really in the charcoal. Yeah, you're gonna use about two and a half bags of charcoal. And how much was that about? Nine dollars, uh, ten dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Now, and you're gonna use the same amount of charcoal no matter how big the pig is. So if you get a 80 pound pig or if you're like us and you get a 34 pound pig, you're just paying more money for the pig and we don't need a big pig. So that'll be plenty of meat for everybody. Rachel found this pop-up greenhouse at Costco. It was $150 and this thing is awesome. I mean, if you like to go camping or just want something, if you're having a party, this thing is great. What makes it so awesome is the fact that one person can put it up. It's like one of these just pop-up things. When you come over here, everything is in a bag and you can see it just pushes in. So we put, that's how you collapse it, and then it all folds in and then it rolls up. And then when you want to open it up, you simply pull it out like this. Same thing from inside, and it's huge. It's like 11 and a half feet across. This is Rachel's favorite part. She gets to see a pig with the head and everything. It is not my favorite part, but the skin is my favorite part, and you've got to have first dibs. It's very important to get the pieces of skin that you want. He looks like he has had a rough day. Now, what made you go with a smaller pig? Cost. Okay. So Do you, he, you he think it'll a, be more tender? So they are more tender. That's why the bigger ones are actually cheaper. So he was, I think, $2.10 a pound, something like that, Two twenty a pound, and then it's $15 for them to slaughter him. Anything over 175 pounds for the pig is like $1.50 a pound. Oh, wow. Because the bigger they are, yeah, the less tender they're gonna be. You would think it would be the other way around as far as cost because it takes so long to get them big. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, his ear just fell off. And I'm gonna just reach right in there. Oh my goodness, that's good. Wow. Look at that. Mmm. <gasps> Ooh, I wish we had smell o vision This could be so hot. Wow. Moist? Mm-hmm. Sorry, kids. This one came out really good. Not nearly as gamey. I think a lot of the taste that you don't like is all the garlic and stuff that we inject inside of it. Best part of the pig. Okay, we're gonna let them cool for a couple minutes then we're gonna start shredding them up. Oh my gosh, there's just like a little bit of smoke out here. How are you able to see fireworks in there? I can see them just fine.
Anthony loves his fireworks. You're done. I did it. And nothing burned, right? Did you have a good birthday party? Yes. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. There were lots of Do you smell like smoke? Yes, and sweat. There was a lot of smoke out there. There was. Well, well go back to your friends. We're gonna go finish up the vlog. How was the pig? It was very good. Was it the best one we've made? Yes. Oh no. So this is all that's left, huh? Well, no, but what oh yeah, I got annihilated. I see that. Well, that's what my dinner is gonna be. Grayson likes the pig. He's eating one of the rib bones. The Invisible Man is good. You really did an awesome job decorating. I don't even think anybody got outside in the back here. We I don't were, think so. We but were mostly inside because it did start to rain, but it's okay. It's Florida. We roll with it. We're going to turn on the light. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about my hair, but my brother brought over his golf cart and we went on a fast ride around the neighborhood. He put new batteries in it, right? He did, and he says it's going like 25 miles faster. So there's still fireworks going off. They're going to go off all night. The chickens did not care about them. Tabitha did not care about them. No, Tabitha actually came outside, but she, you know, we have a bunch of like teenagers here, and I guess they're not teenagers, right? They're in their like mid 20s that was at this a loud point. One. Uh, Grayson is in my office on the ladder because his cage is out here, and I don't know. I mean, he, he hasn't had anything to eat or drink. I mean, he had a chicken bone. Yeah. But I don't want to put him out here. He's going to freak out if yeah, I put I him out here. Yeah, I don't want him to. He, he may spend the night on the ladder. Yeah. I'll bring him in a little bit of water. Exactly. So, yeah, it's about, what, 10 o'clock at this point, I think? I don't even know. What time is it? Do you have I your watch on? Yes, pass. you have your watch oh, on. Oh, I do have my watch on. 10.19. That's pretty good, because I haven't looked at a watch all day. Wow. I also haven't eaten. I you ate know, one piece of cheese with a little bit of chicken salad, but I have not had the pig yet, so I'm going to go eat dinner. It's what happens when you're the cook sometimes and there's a party. Yeah. The pig, though, it got devoured. There's Can I like tell one you little piece my left. thoughts about it? Okay. It is the best one we have ever made, and I think that the key is it was a small one. I would definitely get a little bit bigger than this one, but I think the key is usually, Younger. I'm telling you, we always put the mojo in it, which is the sour orange and then all of the different spices and the garlic, and we just, we did half of it with butter and apple cider vinegar. Wow. Then we did the other side with the sour orange, but when I chopped it up, I mixed it all up. And I think it just gave it the perfect flavor. It was like a butter, there's a butteriness to it. it and it was moist all the way through. The skin was fantastic. Yeah. So I'm gonna, not gamey this time. Not it, The pieces that I tasted when we were cooking it and chopping it up did not taste gamey. In fact, another guest tonight said the same thing. That she had had pig in the past. Right. That um, it, it wasn't. It was gamey in the past, and right. so she was kind of a little bit hesitant to eat it, and so she had asked for a hamburger. For under attack, thinking that she wouldn't be able to eat it, and she said it, it was delicious. I'm, I'm glad that people liked it. It was good. Well, I think we're gonna close out the vlog right here because it's getting loud, and I wanna eat. I don't know how long these fireworks are gonna go on for. Maybe till tomorrow. Well, that's going to be our video for today. Please do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way. Every single time we have a party and roast a pig, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.